Well, hello, kiddos. Turns out I'm gone again. I apologize. Nowhere near as dire circumstances as the last time I was gone. Um, anytime I am gone, which hopefully isn't super often, I usually will leave you guys a video of me doing a little bit of teaching and explaining of things for you guys to get started. Because if not, I understand you guys go with a little bit of withdrawal and you miss me and you already had to go through the whole weekend without having me around. Although you did get to see me Friday evening for the pizza party and I sent out that cool picture. But, I mean, you had to go all of Saturday and Sunday without seeing me and that's a lot. And I don't want you guys like go through withdrawal and get sick. So I figure at least this way it kind of counts as seeing me. That's something. So baby steps. So anyway, give you guys a little video explaining what's going on and stuff like that. I will be back tomorrow. I just had some stuff going on at home. Uh, so I was not going to be able to be here today. Uh, but it should be all taken care of. And I'll be back tomorrow. And everything will be back to being good. Uh, see, coming up this week, uh, we have no quiz this week. Uh, we're actually going to get to it Monday, so a week from today, because uh, I have a couple things I want to get through with you guys this week. So I actually had to bump the quiz back, because uh, the story we're going to do later this week is really fun. Uh, and so because of that, I wanted to make sure we had a chance to get that done, and I'm really looking forward to Friday when we get to the tail end of the story, because it is... Um, memorable, to say the least. I have a different story with both regular and advanced. Regular, you're doing voices. Uh, advanced, you're going to be doing one called The Black Cat. Both of them are ones that are going to stick with you. It's going to be great. And then also, we're going to take a look at the story of The Fisherman tomorrow. And then you will have some homework this week. Uh, the back side of the notes where we did The Lady and the Tiger, the right-hand side is The Fisherman. We're going to have to fill that out for Friday. So that back side of the handout, that whole thing is due Friday for a grade. So as long as you have it all filled in, you're going to get an easy grade. I'm hoping to bump it up for you guys and make things better for you. If it's not filled in, then that's where I'm going to have to help you out and charge you points and stuff like that. I'm also going to be giving you your first real homework assignment coming up on uh, Thursday, uh, which is here, as it says, first real homework assignment. Uh, and this is the first realsy, realsy one. It's going to require like to go home and think. I know you're excited. Finally, the tape will come into play. Uh, that it's going to connect the quiz on Monday, which we'll be explaining. And so that's coming up on Thursday. But you'll also notice on the calendar over there, does not say when the homework is due. And that's because the homework is not going to be due until next Wednesday. Uh, typically, whenever I give you real homework, I give you several days to get it done. Like the backside of this note thing that we're doing with the fisherman and the lady and the tiger, you have several days to get it done. Same thing here. Very seldom am I ever going to give you a homework assignment that's due the very next day. I normally give you several days to get it done. This would be an example of it. Today, what you're going to need is your book report book so you can read Excuse me. And so you get a chance to move around and do stuff like that. So that's today's main thing. If you want to buy a poster, you may. Uh, the sub has them on my desk. They do cost you either a shiny quarter or five B points. And so that is up to you. If you want to take one on credit today, that is fine. Make sure the sub writes your name down. And then tomorrow when I'm back, I will go through the list and say, all right, did you want to spend a quarter or five B points? And if you have a quarter, you can pay for it. If not, then I'll just charge you the five B points. Might want to make sure you can afford five B points by checking your grades over there beforehand. But you're more than welcome to do that. If you want to wait till later, that is fine with me. Uh, book report is due in just under a month. It is due the first week of October, so it is due coming up, not quite yet, uh, about the end of this month. So you've still got about three to four weeks to work on it, but that's to finish the book and work on the project, just giving you a heads up as far as that stuff goes. If you're not willing to work on the book report, uh, you're more than welcome to work on the fisherman thing, and I'll explain more about that in a moment. Uh, don't forget to look up here because we have a person that is in the date, and I would hate for them to miss out. Uh, so hopefully you can notice who that person is. And if you have any uh, pasta or, um, what you say, uh, Simpson sheets and stuff like that, as it says right through here, uh, make sure that you just bring them to me tomorrow, and that's fine with me. There's no point leaving with the sub because then I won't be able to give you credit. I'm not going to make the sub be responsible, so just hold on to it. If you're really worried about it you're, and you can't fit it in your locker and you're not sure what to do and you're flipping out, uh, you can put it back on the, the shelf. Uh, it's not behind my desk, but to the right of the desk where it has all of my uh, running, the tags, we want to call where the cabinets are. You can leave them over there and then just tell me which ones belong to you tomorrow and that's fine. Simpson sheets, you should be fine. Hold on to those. I'll take them from you tomorrow and it won't be the biggest issue in the world. I have a feeling you'll be fine.
All right, so things that you can work on today. So you have some idea of what I'm looking for. For the most part, my goal is to give you time to read your book report book. I feel bad the fact we've not had a chance to do this yet, and I want to make sure you have some idea if you like your book. So today, that's it. I'm just going to have you read your book. Kick back, relax, read. If you're one of those kids that has uh, uh, over 20 points uh, and you want to sit on top of your desk, you can, unless you irritate the sub. Irritate the sub, you are out of luck. I believe believe it is uh, 30 points. Uh, it was if you brought a pillow with you. If you want to sit on that, that's fine. Do not fall asleep. That part would not work so well. Um, and then I think it said a 40 points where you can like lay on the ground, um, which is possible if you are one of those kids. But once again, that is up to the sub. If the sub says no, I fully support the sub and back them completely. Uh, and so you cannot sit on the ground unless they say so. If they agree to it, then you're going to have to sit back out of the way. You cannot sit in the aisles, uh, like on the edges of my room, somewhere like that. That, but you cannot fall asleep doing that. The sub is definitely going to let me know, and I can rain down fury upon you. But you would never make that choice. So that's not a big issue. Once again, if you are wanting to buy a poster, uh, you're more than welcome to. It's going to cost you 5B points, uh, or it's going to cost you the 25 cents. I'm happy either way. That is up to you. If you're not wanting to read for some reason today, you're more than welcome to find pictures for your book report. Uh, if you have the uh, iPad, as long as you are doing that, again, as soon as it becomes you not doing that and you checking social media, realize I'm going to trust the sub over you every time, so choose wisely. So if you have have an iPad out, do not make yourself suspicious at all. So make it straight up believable uh, because as soon as the sub suspects you, then they're going to write their name down and then I get to drop the hammer on you tomorrow. Hang on, I'm going to show you. Uh, this is me dropping the hammer. Uh, so I'm going to drop the hammer on you. So do not make that poor choice. Uh, but as long as you can actually do it and look for pictures and something like that, well, go for it. Give it a try. If you want to work ahead and get homework done, you are also more than welcome to work on the fisherman story. Uh, and as far as that goes, uh, you're welcome to read the fisherman story. You already have a copy of it. It's on the back side of Lady and the Tiger. And then the back side of the notes is going to be due Friday. And if you have a pencil and you want to work on that, you are welcome to. We are going to be covering some of it in class, but if you want to make sure you have your homework done to make life a little bit easier, I am absolutely fine with that. And then finally... <clears throat> If you did bring other homework, that's fine with me. If you're trying to get something done as long as you are not talking with someone else, no, you cannot work in a group. No, you cannot go sit to another kid next to another kid and talk. But if you have other homework that you need to work on, then I'm willing to agree. Once again, up into the point where you bother the sub, you bother the sub, you are out of luck. I trust them first and foremost, so keep that in mind. And also, those of you who are absent on Friday, um, I have sub quiz for you. It's on my desk is the paper version. You do get to use your notebook. You get to use your handouts. You do not get to talk to other people. Uh, so the good news is uh, you get to use stuff. The bad news is you don't get to use other people. You have to take the paper version of it, give it back to the sub, and then make sure I get that from you so I can grade it. If you leave with it, that'd be bad because then I'd have to be mean to you and no one wants that. Tomorrow, I'll get back. You can see the calendar over there we have coming up. If you do not know what we're doing for the book report, allow me to point out again I have this magical thing called a website, and then you can always go to my website, web site, go there, look for the book report page, it'll tell you more information. Do that, uh, on that we should be good to go. Uh, check you guys later, I have one small last present for you. It's me smiling and saying goodbye, because you can see how happy I look there. So my final thing, let me just do a little something there, a little something there. Uh, and... Aha! Perfect. Um, and so that's for you guys. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Sorry I'm not there today, but we'll survive. Um, be good for the sub. Make sure I don't have to yell at you guys. Uh, I have faith in you making good choices. Um, that, check you guys later. Thanks.